Hi friends, I am Dr. Jennifer Jacqueline, your Doom teacher. So today's topic of discussion is Codes of Law. It is important for your long answer and short answer for subjective examination and MCQs for your entrance examinations as well. So let's get into it. So let us know the types of codes. So it's divided into civil and criminal court. Okay. So this criminal court is being arranged according to the hierarchy. The first one is the supreme court, the highest. The next one will be the high court. The third one is the sessions court. And next will be the magistrate court. Right. So we'll see one by one. So first one is the Supreme Court. So as the name suggests, it's the highest court in the country. So it's called as the Apex Court of the country. Based on 134 Constitution of India. Article 134 Constitution of India. Right. So who will be the presiding officer? The presiding officer will be the Chief Justice of India. Okay, This Chief Justice of India will be appointed by the President of India. So what power does he have? So he can give any sentence or any fine. So the Supreme Court's function is supervises all other courts. Yes. So the next one is the High Court. So Supreme is the apex court of the country. The High Court is the apex court of the state. So each state will have a high court. But sometimes, you know, in the northeast area, for example, some seven to eight states will have a single high court. Right? So who is the presiding officer here? Here also the presiding officer is the Chief Justice of India appointed by the President of India. So what is this power? He can also give any sentence or any, any amount of fine. This is a section called as 28 CRPC where the High Court has a power to increase or decrease the sentence passed by the lower court. Okay. And two things which you have to remember here are the Supreme and the High Court, they are the Courts of Appeal. So we will be dealing with the lower courts, right? So anything, any doubts or anything we want to appeal further, we are not satisfied with the punishments given by the Sessions or the Magistrate Court, we can appeal to the Higher Court. And even if you are not satisfied with the Higher Court, you go to the above, the Apex Court, which is the Supreme Court. So these Supreme and the High Court are the Courts of Appeal. And one more point is, they do not trial prima facie. Prima facie is, by the word meaning, self-evident or obvious. So this is a important MCQ. So which courts do not uh, trial a prima facie? Supreme Court, High Court, Magistrate is... So, they, you have to choose an option of both Supreme and High Court. So, friends, the third court is the Sessions Court. So, these are present in the District Headquarters. Right? District Headquarters. So, the presiding officer here would be a District Judge. Yes? So, he will be appointed by the state government 
in consultation with the high court yes so here if the judge is dealing with a civil case he is called as a district judge if he is dealing with a criminal case is called as the sessions judge yes so what is his function so his function is to trial cases which have been referred to by the magistrates okay so what power he has he has a power to pass any sentence or any amount of fine but there is a important thing which you have to remember any sentence means it could be even a death sentence but suppose a sessions court passes a death sentence it has to be confirmed by the high court right confirmed by the high court it's very important mcq so this district judge can be divided into additional district judge assistant so remember by the word assistant it's a little bit of lower one right little bit low okay so this additional judge can pass any sentence same as the district judge pass any sentence whereas your assistant judge can pass only a sentence up to 10 years imprisonment but he can give any amount of fine right yes so the last court is the magistrate court so magistrate courts are the lower courts judicial and executive right so here they may ask you who are the executive uh, judges so it could be mostly concerning with the revenue department okay this could be a sub collector collector tahsildar right this is also a potential mcq yes so this judicial magistrate is been divided into chief judicial magistrate first class judicial magistrate and the second class judicial magistrate so this you have to know so these people also have uh, the power to give punishment but it differs okay so this chief judicial magistrate can give an imprisonment of 7 years and any amount of fine whereas your first class magistrate gives an imprisonment of 3 years and 10000 rupees fine your second class judicial magistrate will give 1 year imprisonment and 5000 fine okay so this if suppose this chief judicial magistrate is presiding in a metro city metro city is nothing but a place where it's more than 1 lakh population okay so he will be called as a chief metropolitan magistrate okay whereas your first class magistrate if the person is residing in a metro city is called as a metropolitan magistrate so there are few points you have to remember who can commute a death sentence commute is nothing but reduce the criminal conviction right so it can be a uh, supreme court your high court 
am the president of India. Yes. So this president of India has the power of amnesty. Power of amnesty. That means he can grant pardon, reduce the punishment. So this is very important. Okay. So these are the four types of codes you have to know. It just requires three to four minutes to just brush it off. So if you like this video, kindly circulate to your friends so that they could be benefited. I'll meet you all in the next video. Let's have a happy learning.